flesh, bone, bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago, before time, before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line and the last hope for humanity. Hello? Miss Alexandra Roivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Miss Roivas, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. <laughs> Miss Roivas, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Think that not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quiescandamest? 
spiris conservandi. Facusatis aquae sumat, et animus eorum conforma, pugna huis dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo rest I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatath, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. Earth. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim the important chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients. You have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Even these 
these mythical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. to feeding on flesh and bone, Matrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. Your presence is welcomed, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. Lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Shaturga. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. Be certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence. It is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, 
My guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one and the other? Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Hanc mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. I have to warn him of this treachery. to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Zealous. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. I have implored you for years. You ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams, and I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Kareem. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine. Kareem, if you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. 
You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you. So much for thinking only of me. I should never have left. I have seen my folly and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. And you really don't look so good anymore. You must forget the past. Despite who you are now, you will also become something more. Just as I have. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. The things I do for love. of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? 
I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. It has been two weeks since the death of my father has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now I am truly alone and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine. The accursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one, and there was an entire city of them. I could not hope to fight them all alone. I knew I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. but locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located within its grave. As we suspected. It shall be retrieved at once. Be wary. The power of Mantarok lingers still, corroding the universe around its tomb. It will doubtlessly be guarded after these seven centuries. The beast has not been contained. I can assure you that my binding of Mantarok Fueled by your very own power, will be enough. It is not your sorcery that we doubt, Augustus, but the power of the dead god. How can you, a mere mortal, comprehend what that entity represents, or what power it can wield? We know not. And we know more than thou. Your future depends on me, Majesty. Without me to open the gates... Yes! Yes, be quick, lest our power and our faith in you wanes to oblivion. It will never happen. I have seen differently. <laughs> the 
ancient's influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery-riddled two-week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased give you an early bonus. easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> Arrogant man. Kill him! Make sure you succeed this time. the heart flesh and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the Dark Ones as they searched for me. I passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body, but I was forced to find refuge here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh, and take it to the gathering of light. Or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. The veil of reality can only be pulled back so far, mortal. 
take your stand and fight the darkness. today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, Paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancients' corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be, but deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here, dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, 
Make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later. And I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Ah, oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well claiming that the sacred relic, the hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. The hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther, for that's all you have.
You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mine, in the name of our true lord, Zelatov. Come, my children, feast on this morsel, and let us return to our preparations. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. His kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. <laughs> I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? So, you can see me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness 
mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. What news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons! You'd be insane to build there! Silence, dog! What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! Now you, architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project.
The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, and mustard gas. Rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men soak gauze in their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. Hmm. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I am sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. You are 
not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. It is only a place for me. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Pray to me anyway. My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets.
bring news of disaster, Augustus. And if not, we wonder why not, since disaster has struck. Yes. Your colony of guardians in the ruins of Engar has been eradicated. A great magic wrought massive destruction there. Not a single guardian escaped. Your concern is touching, but out of place. There are other guardian colonies. The loss of one is meaningless. That is the only disaster you report? Yes, my magnificence. There are no others. And what of your treachery to us? Treachery? Oh, in good time. It matters not that you bear us ill will, Augustus. It will come to no end. You lack the power to destroy me. Or even elevate yourself to our level. The future has unfolded before me through a vision. One of my many. A vision of my conquering the absent horror. Uliath, master of the planes. The magic of the planes is no match for the power of the mind. And thus, it will be destroyed. Then the gate shall be opened, and you shall once again grace the earth with your presence. Augustus, a storm of metal and fire, and a torrent of souls along with it, young and vibrant. Yes, I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure, and one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling. With this sacrifice of souls I make unto thee, Great One, the gate shall be ready to be opened, and your freedom shall be at hand. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. How's the temperature in there? It's hotter than hell here. I'm getting a little nervous about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. More powerful. I don't know how else to describe it. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Just relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. 
We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gotta tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of... like they've been buried alive under tons of concrete. Take this. Guard it well. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this? to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. Show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am, and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck. Rovers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my Lady Zelatov. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, pious. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the Ancients' essences. Now, Pius, this is the end. <laughs> the end, indeed.
I spit at thee. The darkness shall be eternal. Find this creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe! It is finally over, my dear. The Ancients' plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time, and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. As I gazed up at the ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality, to see those who dwell behind. I was once a fool.